Remember when a cash register receipt was just a little piece of paper you could easily stick in your wallet? Well, not anymore. In tonight's Don't Waste Your Money report, what's going on and why some people are so unhappy about it? The one on the left is a receipt for two items that I bought, 21 inches long. Ed Deal couldn't believe it. He bought just two small things, but he ended up with a paper receipt almost two feet long. The first thought is that it's a waste of money. Ed says all this paper must be costing the stores some cash. You multiply that times the number of shoppers they have, pretty soon that's going to run into some serious money. His bigger concern, though, is for the resources that went into printing all this. That takes a lot of excess trees. One blogger recently posted this picture of a two-foot-long grocery receipt he received when he bought a single pack of gum. The Wall Street Journal says it's not just grocery stores. The Journal says CVS is also famous for long receipts. There's usually coupons, though, at the bottom. Why? Why so much paper? A spokeswoman for Kroger Supermarkets tells us these receipts help customers by showing them rewards points, how much they saved on each item, any recalls, and special offers like store credit cards. But the Wall Street Journal says a growing number of green-leaning customers are grumbling. So it says Walmart has begun printing two-sided receipts like these at some stores to save paper, while the Apple Store now offers the option of an email receipt. What do you think? Do those long receipts bother you? If they do, tell the store's customer service department. If enough people complain, maybe they'll shorten them up.